All right, good evening, everybody. Father Arcadio here. Good night. God bless. And I am back in the lower church. So uh, you might recall a number of weeks ago that I was down here and I showed you it was the Romanian chapel. Uh, but also I have plans to build the bigger adoration chapels. So now that construction is about to happen again, we're, we're going to begin the process of our new adoration chapel. So if you look with me over here, you remember that there are petitions here. Oh, now you can see. So now the petitions are gone. The Romanians have moved out. Uh, this old altar over here used to be the lower church altar that used to have here. So this would have been the altar that was used at uh, my dad's funeral mass, which was down in the lower church uh, all those years ago, back in 1990. That's kind of cool to see. Uh, you can see it looks like a little bit of mold over there and problems over there. So this wall is going to come down starting Monday. And they're going to expand the chapel to exactly how we did the classroom. So where you see this floor right now, so the chapel will come up to about here. This will actually be a closet space and it'll be a wall. And it'll be a big surprise inside the Adoration Chapel uh, when it's done. So over here, you got two great parishioners working. It's Sandro over there and his wife Wendy's on there. And you see he's redoing the pews already that were down here. So we're going to reuse these pews and put them in the new Adoration Chapel. So Angel over there is helping out. You're trying to take apart what's good and so we can reuse it and put it inside our Adoration Chapel. So you can see two of them are almost done already. So they sanded it down and they created a smaller pew so we'll be able to put inside our Adoration Chapel. And so what I got to do on these two now is stain them and put the kneelers back on. So. Okay. So you see work is continuing now in the parish. Excuse me, a little dusty down here. So you hit at work. So uh, hopefully by come September, I think the Adoration Chapel should be in place uh, and then uh, be a bigger place. So why do I want a bigger Adoration Chapel? But one, the one we have now is kind of small, and sometimes there's not enough room for everybody that comes down here. Sometimes we have adoration in the church, but it's nice to have the adoration chapel because sometimes we have funerals, uh, other celebrations, weddings, and so forth, and you can't always have the adoration going on. And also, uh, I want a bigger chapel because then we could bring CCD classes over uh, so you can do prayer with each class. Uh, the youth group can use it as a more warm space, smaller space to have adoration. To pray and so forth so uh and then we do all night adoration in the beginning of the month usually the first thursday to first saturday uh, it's continuous 24 hours so it'll be a bigger space a warmer space uh for, for the people coming for adoration uh, because sometimes we do get some, quite a few people in there and it's kind of tight some people are outside the door uh so i'm really looking forward to putting this new adoration chapel in and i'll continue our project to make the lower church more use, use, user friendly a little cleaner and a little warmer. And then after this is done, uh, eventually you want to make the old sanctuary area like a retreat center type thing. But that's coming down the road and it also depends on money. So I'm um, glad you guys got to see you the first to see it because I was the first I saw it. I came down here to just show you the empty space and these guys are always working. So they're doing this as a volunteer thing. Uh, they redo the pews, the parish is gonna pay for the expenses. So I'm really grateful to Angel and Sandro uh, for going and working those pews. So. I wish everyone a good night and God bless. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.